Hey, it's morning too. And don't forget, you guys still have a chance to win food to your house. Just check out Pastor Caleb Smith. Northwest Youth, we are so excited this summer rally is finally here, and tonight we want to do something special. We want to send DoorDash to a lucky student's house, paying for y'all's dinner. You guys pick it, we pay for it. We're picking up the bill, we're paying the tab for you. And so the way that you could enter to get your dinner paid for tonight by Northwest Youth is by making us the coolest trick shot video possible. What you guys need to do is cook up in your mind what's the coolest, the most complex trick shot you could do, and that you could successfully film today. Right now, today you gotta cook it up, you gotta get it laid out, you gotta make that video film in it, and tonight by 4.30, you need to have it posted on Instagram and tagged Northwest Youth. At 4.30 is the cutoff, we're gonna judge them, and by five o'clock, you're gonna know if you're getting DoorDash sent to your door. And so, you guys just need to upload them on Instagram, go through, make it cool, make it awesome, we're gonna be judging it based off the criteria of either being the most complex and just crazy cool, or having the most people involved that you can and so that way if you're watching by yourself you guys have a chance to win and if you're watching with a group of people doing a little house party thing utilize yourselves make it cool using the people that you have around you and you could even have your family members help you out with it and so make sure to film it get it posted on Instagram if you don't have Instagram ask your youth leaders maybe or ask one of your youth pastors if they would be able to post it for you and tag Northwest youth with your name so that we can still reach out and get you your DoorDash tonight we can't wait to see how this summer rally goes, and we will make sure that if you win, if you got the coolest trick shot, you got dinner on us tonight.
great the chasm that lay between us. How high the mountain I could not climb. In desperation, I turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night. Then through the through the shadows of my soul the work is finished the end is written Jesus Christ my living hope who could imagine so great a mercy what heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to wear my sin and bear my shame. The cross has spoken, I am forgiven. The King of kings.
remember guys, we have four more weeks of student-led devos. Just make sure you hop on over to Northwest U's Instagram right here. Now here is today's Devo with Serenity. So I have a verse for you. It is Luke 5, 17 through 26. It says, One day Jesus was teaching, and Pharisees and teachers of law were sitting there. They come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on a roof and lowered him on his mat, threw the tiles into the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law began thinking to themselves, Who is this fellow who speaks the love of God? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus knew what they were thinking and asked, Why are you thinking these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say get up and walk? But I want you to know the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he says to the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. Immediately he stood up in front of them, took what he had been laying on and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God. They were filled with awe and said, we have seen remarkable things today. I wanted to ask the question, who is on your mat? Who is that person you know needs Jesus? But you may be afraid. You may be afraid of being judged. And maybe you have brought up the idea already and they have judged you for it. We live in a world that constantly reminds us that it's dependent on a satisfying. Where I believe God had put a hole in each and every one of our hearts. Some people turn to Jesus to fulfill it. And others turn into the world to fulfill it. Sex, money, drugs, relationship status. They turn to that instead of Jesus. And you may be judged saying, oh, you're a Christian. You don't understand things. And then we judge you for your beliefs and the things you say. But that is the devil trying to limit what you say because he knows what you say may limit him. Don't let the devil get into your heart. Don't let the devil fix your focus because God has a plan for you. God has a plan for that person that you're thinking about at this moment. Who you know needs Jesus. Who you know needs God. Maybe he's scared. But in this story, there was a crowd full of people who doubted God doubted his works, but his friends did not settle. They lowered him through the tiles because he knew that God had the power to save him. God has the power to save your friends. God has the power to save that loved one that you're thinking about. But you have to speak up. You have to use your voice. I know the devil's going to think, or the devil's going to put on your mind that your words aren't important, but they are. God can use your words to speak to many people so that they can get saved themselves. But he can only do so if you allow him to. Who is on your mat? What are you going to do to change it? You were the word at the beginning. One with God.